All right. What's going on? What's going on? It's Geffrey. Uh, we're doing this live thing again. Checking the placement a little bit. And such. That's the top. Oh, might need to bring this back a little bit. Y'all excuse me for a second. That's not too bad. Well, it's gonna be bad once I start the drawing process, but yeah. All right, yeah, it's Geoffrey. Gonna try the live drawing uh, thing uh, right here in real time. Uh, live drawings are quite the challenge. Uh, kind of hard to hide your mistakes and such when you're doing this. <laughs> you really can't. <laughs> so. Uh, it's gonna be something nice, gonna be something fresh, and you know, lots of people like to see the art process as this, like in real time. So, you know, here we go. Uh, the plan tonight was uh, to draw Hellboy because uh, a good friend of mine, uh, David Rivera, uh, he kind of requested it and so forth, and uh, I hadn't drawn him in a little bit. So, you know, been working on some sketches, some poses maybe. I don't like that. Okay. Uh, I tried this sketch too. Um, I don't like that. So, and then I was kind of just scribbling uh, some stuff. And uh, I don't really like any of that either. So I was trying to base it off of something. So everything is fixing to kind of be uh, fresh. Like I said, just kind of brand new. And uh, I guess we're going to see what, what happens. Let the magic happen. Hopefully there's magic that's gonna happen. So uh, here we go. Oh, it's also May the 4th. So uh, even though I'm drawing Hellboy, I'm gonna have to somehow incorporate something Star Wars-ish into the into the fold of it. So this this should be something fun and interesting. Let's hope it is anyway. Okay. Okay, I see everybody now. Blake Wookie, Jason Quaringa. Y'all, welcome. Don't laugh at me. Hey Justin and hey Corey. <laughs> nah, I'm I'm hardly a master. Long way from that. Thanks though. Still learning very much. Still learning a whole lot. What's going on, Zach? My good buddy, Zach. He's a Mr. Freeze fan. Mr. Freeze fan, kind of like I am. He's harmless, though.
like I said, I'll try as best I can, but any any questions you guys have uh, during the course of, please, like I said, don't don't hesitate to ask. I, I do this at conventions quite a bit. You have to be able to multitask, be able to talk, be able to draw and all that at the same time. It's tricky. It's an acquired, it's an acquired art form, acquired taste, but it's tricky. Hey, I am almost done with the rough and I haven't had to use the eraser yet. Actually, I should use the eraser, but I'm scared to use it because you guys might be like, oh man, look at that mistake he made or, or something along that line. So. <laughs> Hello, Eddie Price. Goodness, let's, let's hope it stays beautiful after I get done. Yes, Eddie, Ed, I am very hard on myself. It uh, prevents overconfidence. That's a long sorted story, but you know. <laughs> yeah, Blake, yeah. We don't call them mistakes. We call them, uh, well, we call them happy mistakes, but you know, still mistakes, I guess. Oh man, what's up, Mr. Childress of Bubble World? Good to see you here, sir. Yeah, since I'm gonna be inking and putting like some tone and so forth to this, I'm not gonna get real detailed in the pencils, and plus, I'm not going too crazy with them. Kind of, it's good for making making the image, I guess, kind of pop out to you kind of at the last image. I only have like an hour, so I'm kind of in rush mode. I'm not quite as fast as a lot of a lot of the professionals and so forth. Hellboy is just a fun character to draw, uh, very unique character. Uh, I saw him first when I was in like Iraq and like the, the movie came out while I was in Iraq and I was like, man, this is just, you know, I don't know why this concept never, you know, came about, you know, should have been out a lot sooner. And, you know, the brilliant writing, the brilliant artistry of Mike Mignola, I think I'm pronouncing that right. You know, it just, it just sucked me in. Suck me in. We'll stop there. Now, yes, I know Hellboy is technically a red character, if I'm not mistaken, but sometimes I tend to go with a uh, just a light gray kind of pencil. Uh, as a matter of fact, before I do that, I might need to use the needed eraser. It removes some of the excess line. These aren't mistakes, Blake. It just kind of thins some stuff out a little bit. Sometimes the uh, pencils mix with the uh, pencils mix with the uh, uh, marker that you're using and so forth so sometimes it's a good idea to move a little bit of it what's that And this is a, kind of a good way to kind of start figuring out where your, uh, your darker areas are without completely committing uh, to your, your dark areas, I guess. So it's just a good way to uh, 
let you, the person who's drawing, uh, know where you might want to go back and, you know, put a few things and so forth. So, and his pants are black primarily, so, well, his shorts are black. Skip Bartlett has joined the party. Good to see you, man. Appreciate you coming. Kind of did without the music tonight because I think it was a little bit loud. <laughs> According to my wife, she was like, man, good gracious. I could barely hear you. I'm like, well, come on now. It wasn't that bad. Surely not. <laughs> but maybe with a little more confidence at this, I'll uh, probably return with the music somewhere down the road, but... Chuck Sessions, where have you been, old man? <laughs> Good to see you, man. Commentary. Commentary is good. I wish I could do my Morgan Freeman imitation, but not able to do it. I could do a pretty good lean on me imitation, but you know. Let's see. Morgan Freeman was in lean on me, by the way. In case everybody's like, what? Wait, what? And I think Morgan Freeman is like 117 years old because he was like, he was like 50 when he was on the electric company. I was like, man. They used to call me Crazy Joe. Now they can call me Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do the impression. No, 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 no. Tempting, but no, I'm a little rusty at it, and I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. I was doing it pretty, pretty good there for a while. So, what's going on, Coleman? Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. I know a lot of people are like, what is this business going on right here? Like, it will, it will take shape here shortly, I promise. Shortly. Is this, uh, kinda, nah. Let's try this one. Yeah, the uh, yeah, the, I guess the normal procedure, I guess, would be to uh, you know go in with the uh, inks and so forth. But like I said, for some reason, there's a little bit of a kinetic kind of energy and a, and a lot of looseness that's created when you uh, kind of go right behind the pencils and then just kind of start adding, you know, where you think the uh, the values and so forth should be and so forth. So once you once you come back with the with the uh, inks, which I'll do a little bit later, um, it'll 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 really be a, a very organic uh, kind of look to it. Yeah, great, looks like a marker might be drying up on me. Of course, it's only live TV. That's where you know all the good stuff happens like that. Well, hello, Miss Anajali. 
Uh, yes, tell Miss Nava. Uh, I have not forgotten about her and artworks. I mean, uh, the uh, artwork, art walk. <laughs> Sorry, is definitely in the future. There are some more in the future. Uh, just been quite busy. Haven't had a chance to schedule them uh, properly as I would like to. But uh, no, I have not dismissed the art crawl. And what is going on, Silverbacks? And oh, good, good call. Okay, I'm missing the hit. Thank you, Brian Silverbacks, for correcting my frailties. How about we do it like that? Please, let me know if it moves again. It must have bumped it or something. And anybody, if, if there's something that, like I said, you kind of get enthralled in this stuff. If you see something that I'm, I'm missing or... I've, I've, I've neglected or moving away from. Anyway, just let me know. put some inks on this before I go crazy crazy <laughs> yes he would make a sweet zombie he would um, I had a idea Mr. Bartlett to have a sort of zombie s situation uh, it seemed like it would be right up Hellboy's alley honestly if he would if something like that would take place but of course, that's why I'm not in charge. All right, we have the cheating template so that we get these circles on the head correct. Because I'm so terrible at drawing these circles, people would automatically know, hey, he didn't really draw those circles. So, always good to have something to make your circles correct or close to correct anyway. I can still mess this up even with the template. Case in point. How am I doing the live broadcast? Uh, well, you you go to your status, and well, you got to use your phone. Uh, from as best I can tell, anyway, you got to use your phone, and uh, you go to the little status thing, and you you click on the little live icon, and it will allow you to do your thing. Uh, real time, scary time, I call it. Silverbacks, this is a uh, 05, 005 for the like super fine details. Uh, Red slash Hellboy has a whole lot of uh, facial features that I kind of don't want to, in any kind of way, mess up. I mean, his, you know, he's got he's got some real brutal, way cool kind of skeletal structure, and if that face isn't correct just for me, you know, it, the whole drawing you know, won't do what it's supposed to. That's, I, I'm sorry to say that. I'm just that bad about it. So that's why I dive in first with the face, trying to uh, make sure it's squared up because everything else kind of flows a little bit, you know, better after that, after I see that, oh, okay, the face is cool. The face is cool. The face is where we want, so. Uh, it's just sitting on a stand. Uh, 
Mr. Rivera just sitting on a stand. I just, I mean, it's basically a little box I got and so forth. This is true, and my circles are far from perfect, even with, even with templated magic and things of that nature. All right, that head is kind of, kind of where we want it. Get a little fabric going here, correctly. And like I said, when you're drawing, you just kind of, particularly in this style, because I'm doing it kind of fast, and I only have like a, I think an hour limit to, you know, get something, you know of snuff you know out and whatnot the uh the the um the lines uh that are cre well the the marker lines and so forth the gray tones that you see uh you know you don't have to be restricted by them basically i mean you you can make your line you know wherever you want and um you know just go with it in these type of situations like it, it it really kind of adds to the spontaneity of the whole drawing and people like that you know fresh look that fresh feel so just saying don't don't feel obligated to the line so oh, thank you oh my gosh I always feel like Jeff is watching me. I just made that up right off the hip. Pretty cool. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? You doing all right? It's all beginning to take shape. This is CNN. That's not Morgan Freeman. That's uh, that's James Earl. Uh, what artist inspires me? Uh, I got several right now. I mean, of course, the the old greats. Of course, you know your Frazettas and you know I, your 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 John Burns. You know uh, your Gil Kane's. You know those guys are. You know they're they're classic. You know, and, and of course their their styles are always going to be meshed in there and so forth. But I I really there's a there's a there's a younger group of artists right now that I've really been following. One is. Uh, uh, Oliver Corpel, uh, uh, he's been, uh, I think he's doing something She-Hulkish uh, right now. Just a dazzling, dazzling art artist. He's been, he's been doing this for a little bit, and uh, him and uh, really dig uh, Stuart Eminen. Uh, he's also a brilliant artist and uh, one of my personal favorites. Uh, guy that's really really good but really underrated as well and that's Ken Lashley he's a uh, he's a uh, just you know just 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 dazzling to look at it it's like man wow I, I just you know how do you get this good <laughs> that's always the the money question I guess so you know but yeah they inspire me I'm constantly looking at their stuff I'm, I'm trying to learn without so much mimicking what they do and so forth. It's hard not to in a lot of scenarios, but you know, those guys are, you know, they're really good. Really good. Only if I follow it with Mother of God. Okay, I will. Like I said, the 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 impressions are are, are going to distract me and cause terrible stuff to happen on the paper. So, forget it, Miss Moats. Nice try. This is already this is already uber painstaking and uber scary. Can you say uber? Am I am I showing my age by saying that?
<laughs> Next time. Next time. <laughs> totally. Totally red. Mr. Wilkie and Mr. Bartlett. My good friend, Mr. Bartlett, uh, who you guys might see posting and so forth, is uh, a frequent walker uh, on the uh, Walking Dead. You might have heard of the TV show, one of my favorite shows. Uh, also, another friend of mine, uh, Mr. Coleman, uh, Coleman Yeomans, Humans. You should see, should see his name pop up there as well. Uh, two good friends of mine, and uh, they just happen to be like very popular and very famous and so forth at the same time. What I deserved to uh, have famous friends, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying the rest of you guys aren't famous too, but I'm just saying, you know, the, you know, the Walking Dead zombie type famous, you know, that's pretty cool too. So. I think I might embarrass them. See if they log off now. <laughs> uh, yes, I will be at uh, Kingdom Comics for free comic book day, uh, Jeff. Yeah, I, yeah uh, Scott Hoverman uh, is 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 mean to me in most circles. So you know, it's a. Uh, it's kind of a tough thing. I'm joking before that even turns into seriousness. He's my bud. Uh, but, yeah, I will be at stands uh, again this year. So uh, where I've been for the last few years. Kind of feel a little sense of devotion with them guys. They they always treat me real nice. And, you know, the people have so much fun out there. The kids really you know, like coming out and having fun. So got to do it. And for anybody who's never done a free comic book day, man, gosh, it's just it's 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 just fun on about 50 different levels. That's no joke. So, all right, we're getting to a good spot here. Good spot. I'm fixing to pull out the be all, do all, kill it all marker. I mean brush. So you walk once that. All right, all right. Happy spots, happy spots, happy spots are good. Yes, Blake Wilkie, you are very famous. Famous and happy people. I'm so privileged. All right, what we, not this, wrong mark. <laughs> uh, all those little happy marker lines that we had just a second ago. Uh, we're going to go back and we're going to, we're going to kind of, darken them in a little bit kind of adds a little bit of depth adds a little bit of dimension and that's kind of what we want and this is like i said being done in real time so expect mistakes expect mistakes to be plentiful <laughs>
Let me know if I've moved the picture out of the realm of vision. I'm shuffling it around here. Shaolin shadow boxing and the Wu Tang sword style. Well, thank you, Justin. Appreciate that. Well, hey, do a live custom action figure. That'll be awesome, too. That would be definitely awesome. That's the operative word, man. That's, you know, a lot of people judge a lot of that success by, you know, how much money they make and how much, you know, clout they get how many likes they get on Facebook and so forth but you know it's it's all about inspiration did, did you did you help somebody along did you inspire in any kind of way you know that's what it's all about truly And if you're wondering what this is, this is a like a uh, Kuretake uh, brush pen. Uh, I think I ordered it off of eBay. Came directly in from Hong Kong. Um, it's great for when you're at uh, conventions. You don't have to worry about dipping. Dipping. All you do is go to town, get the drawing. No excuses. Get after it. Skip, you inspire me, sir, all the time. You better share some knowledge there, Blake. You have a wealth of it. My other friend, Blake Wilkie, uh, also artist extraordinaire, he's, uh, he's just being nice and humble and all that because he's in the... the uh, room and so forth uh, brilliant artist you guys get the chance you should check him out uh, another friend of mine Jeff uh, uh, Jeff 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 McKenzie sorry <laughs> I know a lot of Jeff Jeff McKenzie also a brilliant artist good friend of mine and so forth uh, Robin Motes uh, also a brilliant uh, artist in her own rights uh, she uh, she can put her art on clothing so, yeah, I got a lot of friends that uh, inspire me as well. And if I never said that you inspire me, I apologize. And there you have it, as well as the ones I haven't gotten to. There it is. Well, you know, uh, I appreciate that, uh, uh, Zach. Uh, I'm sure you didn't need that much of a nudge from me, surely. I mean, it, the ability was always there. If you want to give me a credit for the nudge, I appreciate it. it I, I, I had no idea. But, you know, I, a friend of mine was doing a live thread a little bit early, and he was absolutely right. Everybody has the ability to create. It's just a matter of... Uh, how much time you want to take to get it developed i mean everybody can change a tire some people just are able to change tires a little better and that's only because they change tires on a regular basis you know and it's just like anything you have to you have to hone it you have to study it you have to go through failures you have to 
and go through periods like I'm going through now of lack of confidence, but letting the world see your mistakes and so forth right there in real time. And uh, like I said, it, it, after a while, you get you start wasting as much paper. Some stuff actually starts looking okay. All right. I know red shirt is normally black, but I don't believe I'm going to make it black. Um, I've, I've done some work, uh, on the independent level, uh, uh, Mr. Bartlett, uh, nothing, you know, on the major level with the, uh, the bigs and whatnot, um, uh, quite a few, uh, cover designs, poster promotions, things of that nature and so forth. So they're, they're scattered about. trying my best to watch my weight why you think I do all this running Jeff my goodness you're gonna mess around and have me <sighs> spaghetti in my Homer Simpson voice mmm spaghetti all right that's my only impression for the day but yeah that invite keep that on the table for me but I, I uh I, I'll, I'll have to do that I have to do that And tell Miss Roseanne, I hope she's doing well. And now to the face. So, you know, not trying to do any kind of shameless plug, but I've been uh, reading the uh, Hellboys here as of late, and they've been uh, pretty fantastical. Uh, some pretty good art, even though it's uh, quite a few of them aren't, you know, with Mike Mignola's uh, art. Uh, there's some artists that are very similar, too, but the, the brilliant storylines are, you know, are still there, and they... They tie in real well with some of the old uh, publications and so forth. Just saying. When you need inspiration. This is a what is this exactly a 5.0 calligraphy marker let's hope it kind of gets my desired effect a little bit oh yeah that's what I probably should have been working with I would save some time has a real flat head that kind of allows you to do some pretty cool uh, techniques and so forth if you lay it on its side, you get a thin line. If you lay it flat, you get like a, a real nice uh, thick line of uh, sorts. So. And it's darker too. That's what I need. Uh, yes, I will be selling stuff at Kingdom uh, Saturday. 
uh, yeah, I will be uh, taking commissions. I got a, uh, a pretty sweet deal on some sketch covers since I have a little bit of an abundance of them. Uh, I'll be uh, doing like some head sketches on sketch covers for like 25 bucks. Uh, that's that's like as as cheap as I guess I can go. If you uh, if you get like a uh, uh, if you get like a face painting uh, or a child of yours or something gets a uh, face painting uh, from my booth mate next door, uh, Miss Allison, uh, it'll probably knock everything at my table off like half off as well. So yeah, we do those little things just to keep everything nice and fresh and moving and blah blah awesome My man, Ty J. Tommy, what's going on, man? Uh, yeah, I sell online sometimes. Uh, it's a little bit of a slow process because of my schedule and so forth. I don't really have the, the opportunity to kind of maintain that type of stuff quite the way I'd like to. But yeah, from time to time I sell online. Everything kind of turns into a sketch after a while with me. I don't know why. I, it, I've been called a lot of things, but never been called neat and clean and things like that. <laughs> I've I just never been able to get it done that way. Believe me, I have tried. But for some reason, there's a there's a there's a there's a fresh feel to you know a lot of you know sketchy you know type stuff which is you know what I tend to try to you know do I do it intentionally a lot of people have uh, seen stuff of mine and are like you know hey you know man, that would look a, lo a whole lot cooler you know if you finished it and I'm like well it is finished and uh, you know but I, ju I just like the uh, the looseness of it because so many times your, your sketch doesn't look nearly the way you wanted it to or something along that line so You know. Oh man, I forgot something. Red has a cross that usually accompanies his, his side. Let's add that in. Oh, would well, Jeff, I appreciate that so much. Clean is boring. Okay, I'll take your word for that. <laughs> I 
Well, thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. I, I apologize also trying to read and draw at the same time. I promise you, I'm not trying to miss your, your comments. Once this once this whole thing is done, I'll probably go back and uh, check out everybody's uh, uh, comments and so forth. So if I don't respond in real time, I apologize. This is this is all pretty fast. It's going fast. All right, I got an impression for you. Can you tell me what this one is? Doc, Doc, uh, are you telling me this sucker is 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 is, is nuclear? No, this puppy's electrical. But I need a nuclear action to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. You got five seconds. <laughs> yes. Draw fast and talk slow. Okay. Sorry, sorry. My apologies. Uh, the nice lady, Miss uh, Miss <laughs> Miss uh, Anna Jolly, she she is the one who heard it. Well, she was probably the only one that heard it correctly because I must have been I must have been saying it a little too fast, a little too fast. All right, guys. Uh, I didn't say exactly. I saved the uh, bare hand on the other side specifically because it is May the 4th. So I don't think this has ever been done, but Hellboy is going to get a lightsaber. That's right. You heard it here first. Certainly can't be read as he is, uh, he is a good person. Of good ilk, so there should not be any need for such a Sith-related rep weapon uh, for him. That would be kind of overkill, I would think. So it's either gonna be like something like green, purple, something like that. Blake says green. I don't quite have the auctioneer voice to be, all right, now we say that in 25. All right, do I hear green? Do I hear purple? Do I hear red? Do I hear this? And that. <laughs> oh my gosh, the missus has chimed in and has claimed stuff as usual. As usual. Hey, love. <laughs> Refocus, please. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Brian King. What's going on? I hope you ain't posting me no picture of a... Uh, uh, Hellboy with a lightsaber because I'm going to be ill. Darn it. I try to pride myself on a little originality. I'll be breaking my spirits. <laughs> yeah, well, my wife uh, attended a rival high school. Uh, we were growing up. Oh. So purple is pretty much out of the question now. So green, blue are our options at this point. Let's see where we are. Well, I know what, I want something a dark on the background. Well,
do some cool ovals. Oh dear, my camera moves? Okay. Thank you so much, Miss Catherine. I think I moved more so than the camera did. Let's see if it moves back a little. Yeah, give me one second. Let me do a little reposition in here. Yeah. Well, I do want to thank everybody for coming out. <laughs> you could have been anywhere else, but you're here with me. And that's awesome. And I do appreciate it. Next time, maybe the pressure of uh, being live and all that won't, won't affect me quite as bad. Also, I uh, can't believe I'm fixing to be giving away all my cool secrets, but hey, we're here to inspire, not, not detract in any kind of way. One of the coolest things I figured out here in the lab, oh gosh, one second, one second. Yep, those are Copics, uh, uh, Catherine, those are Copics. One of the cooler things I've uh, I figured out here in the last few years is uh, this cool little deal called a Presto. Presto. It's a white uh, liquid paper type uh, marker. It is uh, brilliant and excellent for uh, showing uh, you know movement against uh, certain uh, areas that might be black. Uh, you know, if that's your thing, you might not really want to do anything, but it's just, it's just things I always like to uh, add in to kind of, a lot of, a lot of my stuff is posed, I guess, just people standing around and so forth like that. And so when you add this little uh, effect with the uh, white, it really kind of gives it a little bit of a, gives it the look of uh, like stuff is going on, stuff is moving. And, and that's 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 kind of always what you you want to uh, generate in your artwork. You want motion. You want movement in it. And uh, this is a incredible little technique if you so desire. Don't have to do it, but you know, just like to do it because I, I saw the technique some years back, and I was like, how does he? How does? How do they ink that that way? And it's it's not inks. Actually, it's it's just a matter of putting uh, white lines down that uh, 
I don't know what it does to your eyes exactly, but uh, for some reason, like I said, it just kind of just kind of looks cool. Works particularly well on uh, characters like, say, Catwoman or you know, character characters that specifically have a uh, a reflective uh, black uh, thing about them. You know, Batman. You can you can get away with doing that. You know, with him. And a lot of times, I'll just go crazy with it. Sometimes I'll just start putting. You know, little dots wherever, or lines wherever, just uh, whatever generates and gives kind of a uh, fade technique or whatnot. But uh, characters that, you know, have predominantly black costumes, if you take that and just pick a few random spots to just put some dots on or put some white on, and it'll, it'll really kind of add to it. All right. Uh, yeah. We're going with blue on this lightsaber. Why? Because blue is cool. Blue is my favorite color too. So. <laughs> Teach me Master G money. I'm the master of nothing, Todd. And you know this. It's good to have you out though. Appreciate it. I'm gonna check that link, Brian. And by golly, it better not be Hellboy would have done a uh, lightsaber. It's going to be trouble, trouble. You heard it here first. I'm going to go with a light red, I guess. Just because the character does take on red. Now, I know I get, like I said, I get a lot of flack for the fact that I don't ever you know color stuff completely uh, up uh, and it is on purpose uh, the I guess early on way back in the 90s uh, you know I was influenced a lot by image and uh, you know they have a style with Jim Lee and those guys they really had a style that had them you know drawing these you know, intricately detailed pages, you know, that were just loaded, you know, there wasn't a, you know, there was, you know, just intricate detail page to page, you know, and, and, and that really wears you out, wears out the old drawing hand as a while, as, after a while. Well, I was real influenced by a lot of that, and a lot of my artwork, I guess, still kind of reflects that, but to get myself out of it, I kind of started doing stuff incomplete, and there's an old saying that, your art will be finished before you are and I believe that and so that's why I leave a lot of stuff incomplete that's why a lot of it is done like you know real sketchy real loose it's because it, it seems to have a little bit more energy uh, just to me you know whenever I do it that way I, like I said I'm, I'm I'm not neat I'm not perfectly you know pristine some people have that ability more power to them teach me when you get the chance but uh, <laughs> Until then, like I said, everything is, I, I, like I said, I just like to lay it on and go about it. And I have shifted again out of the realm of the picture. Got to stop doing that. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Hey, Mia. myself sometimes. No offense to anybody. But like I said, in the end, uh, you know, there's really no right or wrong way. Uh, everybody, you know, style is in a lot of ways defined as the you know, what we draw wrong, what we draw incorrectly. Uh, 
you know, uh, and <laughs> being drawing, sitting here drawing live, you get to uh, see quite a bit of uh, incorrectness right there in real time. Uh, but, you know, uh, it's part of the process. It's part of the process. It's part of learning. Every now and then I'll see some areas that just don't seem like they have enough blacks and uh, just kind of weighs the picture a little bit by having some solid areas of black. So, particularly as sketch like this. So, all right. Quick sketch. And I did it in an hour, almost an hour, a little over an hour. Ah, ah, ah. fit markers are not liking me today. But guess what? You saw a mistake. <laughs> you can use the Presto marker for its original purpose <laughs> to cover up the mistakes you made. Don't tell anybody. Thanks, Shelly Roundtree. Thanks, uh, Anna Jolie. Thanks, Jason. Oh man, you watched it from beginning to end? Gosh, I wish y'all could see the whole thing. And like I said, that seems like a pretty good stopping spot. Like I said, it was a sketchola. Scary sketchola. <laughs> the old, uh, get a grasp. Get one last check of it. Now before we get done, I have to get somebody's approval. So stand by and check this out. Let's see. And the crazy thing is I get these same I get the same response from this guy every single time. But let's see what he says. What do you think about it, Mr. Vader? You heard the man. Still got work to do. <laughs> Look, this has been fun. Thank you all for coming out. Enjoyed it. We'll do it again next time. Y'all be good. See you later.